Hello, my name is Jamie Willis-Rose and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a demo of a Canvas app component that I created that lets you display time in an analog clock format. So I already have the component created. I'm going to go ahead and import it by coming out here to get more components. And there's my component library, which is available on my GitHub. You can download it today for free. I'm going to select my component analog clock. It comes in here and I have to then add it to my canvas. And that's what it looks like. If I want to preview it, I can click play. Oh, and it doesn't work. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world. There seems to be a bit of a bug. Um, it's, it's not totally uh, unheard of in Canvas apps. So I'm just gonna close this uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And there you go. There is my clock. So uh, just qu I'll give you a quick run through of how the component works. Um, you can again download this yourself. I also have a blog post where I'll walk you through step by step how I created it. So uh, I package it in a solution which you can download from my GitHub. And then I come in here to my actual component library. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click edit and it's going to open my component library and this is my component uh, this particular library only has one component but you can have many components uh, it's made up of these six uh, controls uh, at the back here we have the clock face um, I went ahead and got this particular clock face from Etsy, but you can get your clock face from anywhere. I highly recommend SVGs. Um, they're uh, smaller file uh, size and they can be manipulated in uh, Canvas apps, which you'll see here in a sec. Uh, then I created my own hand seconds, sorry, clock hand seconds, clock hand minute, and clock hand hour. Uh, just using SVG code, which you can find at the link that I'll put in the description. Um, and then uh, the hit not seen, uh, but there it is. This is a timer control. Uh, and this is what's actually doing the animation for us. So uh, this particular control is very important. Um, it allows us to do the animation. So th at a high level, what happens is when this timer runs, it runs every one second, it repeats and it starts automatically as soon as you start playing the app. Uh, so every one second it repeats and at that one second mark it does these formulas. So first it stores the current time in a variable and then it creates three more variables the var second, var hour, and var minute. Um, and then lastly it converts var hour into a 12 hour AM PM format. Uh, this is optional uh, if you have a 24-hour clock face, you wouldn't necessarily need to do that, but I have a 12-hour clock face. Um, so it does that, uh, and then the uh, uh, way the animation works is I'm using a function that's part of SVG called rotate. And you can see here it's transform rotate. And again, I'll have links to that in my blog so you can find out more. And I'll explain in more detail the, the formula, but essentially, uh, you're converting the time into uh, degrees. So finding out the degree uh, and that's the formulas and again that's all in my blog. So again I hope this helps. Um, stay tuned. I've got some more cool stuff I'm going to be doing with this in my next video. Um, but again thank you so much.